Hi, I'm Lisa Klein Ransom and I'm a children's book author of nearly 20 books for children. Some of my titles include the middle grade novel Finding Langston, um, Overground Railroad, Before She Was Harriet, my very first book Satchel Paige, and the story of the incredible tennis star sisters, Game Changers, Venus and Serena Williams. Hi, I'm James Ransom. I'm married to this beautiful woman here, and I'm an illustrator, and I've um, illustrated lots of books, um, almost 70 books um, to date, and some of my books are, um, this is my newest one, which I wrote and illustrated, called The Bell Rang. This book won the Credit Scott King Honor for Illustration, and this is, this is The Rope, which is written by Jacqueline Woodson, and my very first book that I it wrote and illustrated is Gunner, Football Heroes. And some of you may remember, or maybe you guys are too young to remember, my classic books like Aunt Flossie's Hats. And my very first book I illustrated is Do Like Kyla, which is over 30 years old and still available in bookstores. So James and I often collaborate on books together. I write and James illustrates, but we are also the proud parents of four wonderful children. So I have known I wanted to be a writer since I was very young. Um, I spent most of my time when I was young in the library where I grew up in Massachusetts, uh, reading books uh, about Pippi Longstocking and Laura Ingalls Wilder. Uh, but I went off to college, took a lot of writing classes, and then I spent some time teaching. But it wasn't until after I was teaching and became a mom that I really decided to pursue writing for children full time. I grew up in North Carolina in a very small town, and I started writing stories and then illustrating those stories, and that eventually led me to making comic books about my friends and I doing different things as I read through comic books. And then I went off to, went to high school, and in high school I took art classes, and then I went to Pratt Institute to major in illustration. That's actually where we met at also at Pratt at a Purple Rain party. And um, after graduating, I showed my portfolio around and I started being offered these opportunities to illustrate children's books and it sort of went from there. So James and I, we live in upstate New York, um, in Rhinebeck, New York, and uh, we both work from home. So our day typically begins right here in our kitchen. We come downstairs, we both get up fairly early, make our breakfast, and we both head off to our spaces here in our home. I work in an office. And you? I have a studio. Um, my studio is really behind the garage, so it's right outside of these doors, just a few steps. And in that space, I um, create books. Um, I paint pictures, I draw, um, and I paint paintings also. So I'm always busy working on different things. Um, there's also answering emails and traveling, like you mentioned earlier. So, but in the studio, I'm working on dummy books. I'm working on future projects. I have a lot of projects I'm working on, and it all happens in the studio space, which you can actually see on a video called uh, James Ransom Studio Visit. But we're going to put all that at the end of this videotape so you can visit those sites, those YouTube sites later. And so I work about 10, 12 hours in my office every day, and I usually spend most of that time working on writing on new projects, working with an editor to revise projects, answering emails doing research, preparing for speaking engagements. Um, as James mentioned, we do a lot of traveling, so we're always preparing for those. Um, let's move on to some of the challenging parts of being a writer and illustrator. For me, one of the most challenging parts is I write a lot of books about, um, the stories focus on African Americans and history, and some of the challenges and injustices that they've had to overcome um, to make this world and this country a better place. And so the challenge for me and for my job as a writer is to create stories about their lives that um, are accessible and that are still interesting and fun for young readers to enjoy. So that was probably my greatest challenge. My greatest challenge in the studio is um, the time it takes to paint a picture. You know, um, sometimes it could be a scene, uh, many scenes with lots of people, um, lots of cars and buildings and things like that and it takes a while to paint those things so it's usually a very long day and very sometimes a very little is accomplished in a day although you may put in eight hours just a small portion of painting is completed so time is really a, always a concern as an illustrator 
and how fast it's gonna, how long it's gonna take you. Sometimes it takes me a week to do one illustration, and that's quite a amount of time um, when you have to do 17 for a book. But I would say some of the best parts, I mean, I absolutely love being a writer. Probably one of the best parts about being a writer is that I'm able to um, tell stories that I want to tell. I'm able to learn something new every day. Um, and there's a lot of flexibility in being able to work at home. I really enjoy the opportunity I have to find out, to discover someone, and then create a book about that person and share that person with all of you. That's really a pleasure, most pleasure I get from doing, uh, being an illustrator. But we need to... Um... Yeah, so I do just want to, we want to finish up here because we know we don't have much time. But I do want to say that for all of you who want to become a writer, my advice to you would be to just read, read, read. If you have a journal, write it in as much as you can. And those of you who want to be an artist or an illustrator, I would say drawing is very important. And going to um, look up artists online or in books. But drawing in your sketchbook and telling stories in your sketchbook is a great place to start. Thank you, Mrs. Connell, for inviting us to Virtual Career Day. She's an amazing woman. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Check out our websites. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.